right, Starfield is a fantastic game, but it is a little buggy. So I've already released one video which covers the, uh, in my experience, the most common resolution for the bug fix. So that's the upscaling fix. So check out that other video if, if none of these work for you. Uh, the first one is restart the computer, of course. That's easy. Have you tried turning it off and on again? That's easy. Uh, another solution is this uh, Outbyte driver updater. So what this does, it scans your computer to identify the currently installed drivers, and then it recommends updates for what needed might need to be updated. So updating your driver. Alternatively, rolling back your driver. So if you've recently updated your graphics drivers, rolling back your drivers to a, a previous version. And this actually is more, uh, more successful, I, we find, with... NVIDIA versus AMD, but not necessarily exclusive. So that's another option. Well, here's another option, and that is to delete some saved games. So a very common issue that people have been complaining about is that if you have a ton of saved games, here I have 37, apparently deleting some of these goes a long way. I've seen reports and comments on my other video that People have perhaps 30 plus saved games. If they delete 10 old ones, that will get them back and running. So you might want to try that. Uh, additionally, there's a definitely a known bug with the key. If you find yourself with saved games at the key, the key has some known issues that cause the uh, loading saved games that were done on the key. And spoiler alert, uh, this is typically on the mission where uh, you are, and you're, you're actually not a pirate, and you're trying to take down the pirates and the, the people who are on the key. So if you get to that final part of that mission, and you're on the key, and you're you're fighting away, and you save, you might not be able to load those. You, you It's recommended you do all of that in one foul swoop. So another option you can uh, look at is turning off these uh, super resolution, anti-lag, radeon chill, image sharpening options on your AMD control panel. People have reported that changing some of these settings, turning things off and on, uh, have had success. And then also messing with the equivalence of these on the NVIDIA side. Um, another option is to turn off these uh, some of these high or ultra settings in your, in your game uh, graphic settings. Uh, it's funny, you might not think that changing things from ultra to high to medium will make that much of a difference in stability, but... Again, a lot of the issues people are seeing here are graphical based. They seem to be related to graphics, rendering, what have you. So changing those might just solve this for you. The nuclear option, of course, is a complete uninstall and reinstall. Now, nobody wants to do that, but uh, you could give it a shot. Um, that is not a, a super fun option. But it might be more fun than the final option, which is a complete hardware upgrade. And this is, I don't like the idea that this is the solution that people are going to come to. Now, is Starfield worth that? I don't think so. Some people think it is, though. So they, uh, they go above and beyond and they completely try a new system. I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, I really hope you get your game going again. Nothing is more frustrating than having a crashing load file or not being able to play this game it is a fun game it's a deep game there's so many hours that we have to explore in this and to have it just not work is beyond frustrating aside from these tips you could try the upscaling bug which again is in this video here turn off that and see if that helps you out that's what solved it for me good luck and i hope you get to enjoy starfield